Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I just want to demonstrate how to update to the latest build of the Electra Jailbreak. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade from say beta 6, beta 7, beta 8 to the latest build being beta 10. The reason for making this video is because with beta 9 and beta 10, if you upgrade from an earlier beta, all of your tweaks and themes will be erased and some of the folders pertaining to the jailbreak will be refreshed and restored back to their factory defaults. So you will lose everything that you currently have installed if you do not back it up first. But it's worthwhile to update to beta 10 because it eliminates a lot of lag and increases the performance of your device when it is jailbroken. Plus, if you guys haven't heard yet, partial Cydia support may be coming to the Electra jailbreak very soon. So it's probably a good idea to update to the latest beta just so it's an easier transition process to update to a new beta when it is released that supports Cydia. So in today's video, I just wanted to show you how to SSH into your device and back up your tweaks and themes, then upgrade to the latest build of the Electra jailbreak and then restore your tweaks and themes in a couple steps. So to start off, you're going to want to head to your iPhone. I'm using my iPhone 10 on 11.1.2 and I'm using beta 6 of the Electra jailbreak. And the first thing you're going to want to do is head into whatever build you have installed, head into the Electra jailbreak and then enter the jailbroken state. It really doesn't matter if you apply tweaks or themes or not. We really just need it in the jailbroken state to use the SSH capabilities. So I'm just going to go ahead and press jailbreak on my phone because I just rebooted it and it will enter the jailbroken state. Now for this example, I just left the tweaks enabled, and as you can see, even during the respring process, my tweak called respring progress is already loaded, and my custom boot logo is showing, so I know the utility was successful in re-enabling my jailbreak. So now that I'm back on the home screen, as you can see, all my tweaks and themes have loaded. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is just show you guys that it is in its jailbroken state. If I just open up Electra one more time, we are good to go to SSH into our device. So now that that's all set, we can actually go ahead and head out of the Electra jailbreak and then just delete the current beta that we have installed. So now that those steps are taken care of, we can go ahead and head over to the computer to SSH into our device. So if you guys remember from my last video, I'll go ahead and open up Cyberduck and I actually created a bookmark of the install location of where the tweaks are located and themes are located. So if I just click connect to server, I will be taken right to the folder. But just as a refresher, to get to the folder we're looking for, you'll have to navigate to the root of the file system, navigate to bootstrap, and then once more to library. And now we are at the folder, which I bookmark. And to create a bookmark, I just right clicked and then scrolled down to the very bottom and selected new bookmark. And when I selected that, then I can create a bookmark. So if I ever have to go back into this folder, I can very easily be taken directly to this folder just by launching Cyberduck and then clicking connect to server. So like I said, this is the folder where all your tweaks and themes are installed and it has all the support files as well for them. So just to be safe, I'm going to back up all the folders within the bootstrap library folder and I'm just going to create a backup on my desktop in a new folder called iPhone backup. You can name that whatever you want, but I just did iPhone backup to keep it organized. So now we are creating an entire backup of all the tweaks and themes located on your phone and saving a copy on the desktop. And the transfer size will vary depending on how many tweaks and themes you have installed, but in my example, I have 63.7 MB of data to copy over. And just to make sure, once it was done, I clicked on the iPhone backup folder and verified that 63.7 MB did copy over. So now that that step is taken care of, we can disconnect from our iPhone 10 and then head back to the phone itself, and we're just going to perform a quick reboot. As you can see, the jailbreak is currently enabled, and we're going to have to disable it and then re-jailbreak again with the new beta. So to start out fresh, I'm just going to hold the power and the volume up button, and then slide to shut down. And once the phone has rebooted, you can see it's no longer in its jailbroken state. Now we can go ahead and use the lightning cable and connect it to our computer. In some cases, you may have to verify the connection to the computer, but in my case, I've already done that as I use my Mac every single day. Anyway, on our Mac side, heading back over there, we will just have to verify that the phone has connected to the computer successfully. So if we just launch up iTunes real fast and head into the phone settings, we can see that everything looks like it's displaying correctly. And so we can exit out iTunes. Now we can open up Cydia Impactor and make sure our phone displays correctly there. Then we simply drag the new beta IPA file onto Cydia Impactor, enter our credentials, 
and once that step is taken care of, the IPA will begin to install on our device. So once that step is taken care of, we can head back over to the phone, and as you will see in just a short second here, the Electra Jailbreak icon does appear on my home screen, but when I go to open it, it says untrusted developer. So before we can open it, we have to trust our developer account first. So we'll head into the settings app, navigate to general, and then navigate to profiles and device management, select our developer account and click trust. Now we can exit out of the settings app and head back into the Electra Jailbreak and click the Jailbreak button. And now we will re-enable our Jailbreak using the latest beta of Electra. So once our device is back online and we reach the home screen, you will notice very quickly that even though we are jailbroken, none of our previously installed tweaks or themes show up. And just to show you guys, it says already jailbroken. We are in our jailbroken state, but some folders have been erased and refreshed with the new beta update. So now for the rest of the video, I'm going to show you how to install your tweaks and themes back onto the device. So heading back to our computer, this is where the bookmark comes in very handy. We can just right click and click connect to server and we are taken back to the same directory. Now we can open up our iPhone backup folder and essentially just restore all the folders back to the device. Now I actually did notice it doesn't erase all the folders. As you guys can see, the preferences loader and the preferences bundles folders have not been touched. Only the SP inject and themes folders have been erased and restored back to their original state. So we're only going to actually restore those two folders. So first I'm going to head into the SP inject folder in our iPhone backup that's located on our desktop. Here once in that folder I'm going to select all and now we're going to copy all the contents of that folder back into the SP inject folder that's located on our phone. So just drag and drop and the transfer will begin. Now this transfer will depend on how many tweaks you have installed again but we're just going to overwrite everything that's in that folder. This one wasn't too bad. So now that that's done, we're essentially going to do the same thing with themes. You're going to drag everything from the themes folder located in your backup to the themes folder located on your device. Now theme files are a lot larger than tweak files, so this restore took a little bit longer for me. Anyway, once the files have successfully transferred over, we can head back to our phone. Now, all we have to do is do a quick respring. To do that, I'm going to head into the Nemony app and just re-enable my theme by clicking preview and apply and it will respring our device. And as you guys can already see, my respring progress tweak is already loading. And wow, with the updated beta of the Electra jailbreak, that respring took no time at all. So now we are back at the cover sheet on our device. We can enter our passcode real fast. And once we're taken to the home screen, you can see that all our previously installed settings, tweaks, and themes are reapplied. We are back to the way we were when we were on a previous beta, but now we have updated to the latest beta of the Electra Jailbreak, in this video being beta 10. Now, like I said, this beta is a lot faster than previous betas. Some lag and performance issues have been updated, as well as like I was saying earlier, partial Cydia support may be coming very soon to a new beta of the Electra Jailbreak, as Schoolstar has been working very hard to port some of Cydia's dependencies over to his Jailbreak. Because of this news, I wanted to show you guys how to update to the latest build of the Electra Jailbreak. So if a new beta does come out, you guys will know the steps of how to update, create a backup, and restore your tweaks and themes. If say a new beta does the same thing, where it resets some folders back to their defaults within the jailbreak. Now just to clear up some questions that I know I will get about this video, if you are coming from beta 9 to beta 10, you won't have to do this process. It's only if you are coming from an earlier beta than 9 that you will have to back up your tweaks and then restore them as beta 9 and beta 10 introduce this new refresh feature that essentially just resets your jailbreak back to its defaults. Anyway, thank you guys for watching today's video. This was actually the first time that I updated to the latest beta of the Electra Jailbreak just because I didn't get around to it too often. And this process didn't seem too straightforward to me, so that's why I felt the need to make this quick video. Furthermore, it was interesting to me that this feature was even added in the first place, so I just want to inform you guys what will happen if you update to the latest beta build, so you guys aren't caught off guard and have to install all your tweaks and themes again individually. Anyway guys, stay tuned as we may have a major jailbreak utility release coming very soon that includes partial Cydia support for iOS 11. Let me know down in the comments section what you guys want to see in the future as well. I'm working currently on a new top tweaks video as a lot of new stuff has come out for the iPhone 10 in the past couple of weeks since I made my last one. Anyway guys, like I said, 
Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate the support. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on future jailbreak coverage and when I release new videos just like this one. Stay tuned guys as it could be a major week like I said for jailbreaking related news and this Friday I'm very excited as the HomePod is being released so I will be seeing you guys very soon but until next time this is Tony signing out.